Hello, in this video, we are going to look at the performance of my stock portfolio. In June of 2022, June 8th to be exact, I deposited $500 and opened up a Charles Schwab brokerage account. I got so excited, I de decided to deposit $500 more, bringing the total to $1,000. In this video, we are going to look at the months of June 2022 and July, the performance of June 2022 and the performance of July 2022. So I deposited 1000 bucks total in the month of June, and I lost $42.17, which brings us to this ending value. So from the dates, it's not a full month, of course, because I opened it on June 8th. And so what you see is the performance, how well, how bad my brokerage account that is composed of individual stocks performed during the month of June 2022. Here you see the, the rate of return, which isn't too good, but... I'm still, this is my first month investing, so I take it with a grain of salt. Um, I was down 8.68% during this time frame. Here's where I was excited <laughs> and took a big slump, big slide down about mid-June and then up a little bit and then down again for a total rate of return of minus 8.68%. I can handle that. This money is money I can lose, but I'm not that worried about it because I'm investing what I feel are really good companies that aren't going anywhere, no matter how, how bad the economy is getting. So just because I might have been down this month doesn't mean I'm going to lose all my money. Doesn't mean this percentage is going to keep increasing as far as negative returns. So that is the month of June 2022. Now let's look at the month of July 2022. Now we are looking at the month of July 2022. June was my first month of investing. July was my second month of investing. How well did I do? So I added 1,000 more dollars to my brokerage account. Uh, this was my beginning value when I started in the month of July. This is how well or bad the brokerage account performed. So that's good. I made some money in the month of July and this is my ending value. Now, a little thing about the goals, my expectations. If I can get to $5,000 by the end of the year 2022, so December 31st, 2022, I'll be happy. Uh, that's going to be a combination of me depositing more into my account of money I can invest. In addition, hopefully, good returns. So from... July 1st to July 30th, because that's the last day the market was open, or this, actually July 30th is on a Saturday, so July 29th was the last day the market was open in the month of July of 2022. But yeah, so $140.47. Here we see the rate of return, 9.96%, so almost 10%. So when it comes to goals and expectations, I'm to me, I think it's very realistic. Something that I'm shooting for is five to eight percent return on investment. If this stock portfolio can consistently over time produce five to eight percent returns, that's gonna be great. I know this is gonna even out. I know I'm not always I'm not always gonna get 10% essentially every month that I invest, but it was, it's a great, it was a good month for me, my second month of investing. So I'm very pleased. This shows you that it started a little low and then we increased. Um, we went up as the month passed, the account grew, 
the investments grew. So a rate of return of 9.9% in the month of July 2022. Now, if you want to see overall how well this stock portfolio has performed during its entirety, during the lifetime from when I opened the account to present day, check out the video that I made to the end of July and it'll show you the overall um, performance of this account, which is up a little bit slightly. Uh, so anything positive, you know, I have two kind of milestones or not milestones, but things I'm looking for, especially just starting out. One is to be in the positive, not lose money with this stock portfolio, this brokerage account. And two, at least do better, if I'm going to be in the positive, at least do better than some savings accounts, which isn't hard to do because they don't off, hardly offer hardly any interest rate uh, for your sa savings account. So that's my two things. At least be in the positive with this brokerage account and make a greater rate of return than I would if I invested in a savings account or money market account. So we're getting there. Um, I can't say that I'm, I'm not sure actually what the, the going rate of savings account and money market accounts are. I'm sure they're minuscule. So check out that video if you want to do on this channel. I'll put a link in the description below and in the card here so you check out that video if you're interested of when I first opened my portfolio account, June 8th, 2022 to the end of July. But this video showed you individual months. Hopefully it shows you the up and downs of the market. Just cause I started out in the negative doesn't mean you have to stay there. And just because currently I'm up almost 10% doesn't mean necessarily I'm gonna stay there. We'll see what happens. I'm prepared for that roller coaster ride, but I guarantee I'm not going to have a roller coaster of emotions because I'm making good investments with sound research and I have a pretty good hold on my emotions and on my thoughts, on the whole psychology of investing. I feel pretty good. That's, that's a strong suit of mine. So I'm not worried about uh, that in the long term. I know that this will continue to be positive, whether or not going to be that high, almost 10%. As long as it's in 5 to 8%, when all said and done, I'll be super pleased. And I'm very confident that I will get that. I'm very confident I will get to $5,000 by the end of 2022. And I'm very confident that I will reach my initial goal. The whole reason I started this, opened this brokerage account is to grow this portfolio to $100,000 or more over time. Very confident that will happen. All right, so if you like this video, hit the like button. If you are brand new to investing, if you're trying to become more educated about investing and managing your money, I appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell because you can follow me on my journey of doing the exact same thing. And you can learn from me learn from my mistakes, learn from my successes, and ideally, hopefully, it will help you in your own personal finance journey, your own investing journey, so we can all make money work for us instead of us always having to work for money. So if you are interested in videos on how to make money, save money, invest money, and live life on your own terms, I appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. And all the best to you. Take care.